everybody, my name is Spamwolves, and welcome to the end of month vlogs. The thing we do at the end of the month when we look back at the games we've played, have a little talk, see how we feel now time has passed. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin! February 2020. So the month began by finishing off Jedi Fallen Order. We had four more episodes to pump out this month, and that we did. Still really enjoyed this game, and I wasn't disappointed with the ending whatsoever. I know it wasn't the most successful video on the series of the series, of the channel, whatever. Don't care. Don't care about the views. I want people to be happy. So yeah, good job on Respawn for making a good game. Shame on EA for still having the Star Wars license. Perfect. Up. So in addition to Jedi Fallen Order, we did a Not For Broadcast. This game kind of came out of nowhere and I really loved it. Uh, oh, this is episode two. We must have done episode one last month or it's not on my calendar. Let's go with episode two. Episode two of Not... I need to check. Hang on. <laughs> Yes, we started Not For Broadcast in January, we ended it in February. Part 2 had Sports Board, the game that the entire world is talking about. The rules are so simple, they didn't even write them down. Very eager to see where this game is going, we're still waiting on the next content update patchy thing, but when it comes, we're going to be playing it. Up next, and also this month, we played Stormworks. Shock! Horror! Nobody saw that coming. Stormworks is becoming one of the largest series we've done outside of the end of month vlog. I think we're on episode 42 or something crazy like that. I'm thinking we need to do something special for episode 50 or 100 if we ever get that far. So we did some really cool things this month. Some big, some small. We did land boat. Very big boat. Very much land. We also did swamp cats. The kind of what is this? It's gonna be a lot more Stormworks on the channel. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Up, up. Ah, yes. Also this month, I went away on holiday. It was perfect. Nothing bad happened. I went on a cruise to Amsterdam. Didn't get to Amsterdam. A storm came. Storm Circe or Siri or something. I had a great time in that storm. In all seriousness, it was still a fantastic break, even though nothing went according to plan. I have my own cabin. I got to kind of just detox and relax. I had my laptop with me. I played some games that I otherwise would not have done on the channel or on live stream and it was fun it was nice it was a break away from the daily grind and also i got the holiday prep all done and we've gone back to seven day uploads by this point so things were going pretty great but how long would it last so while i'm away we do jedi and stormworks and then the ship remastered everyone's family favorite murder boat of murder crazy mayhem i don't need to speak about that we know we know that game by now sea of fear we did two episodes of that this month. I believe the first one was the Molten Fort Steel with my buddy Axel. That was super fun because the Molten Fort is the most annoying and least done of all of the forts in the Sea of Thieves, not including the Fort of the Damned. Axel was going to it, someone was doing it, he called me in, I drop in, we steal it, an epic fight ensues, we go on an adventure, amazing time. I really enjoyed making the video, I really enjoyed doing Stormworks, there's going to be so much more Stormworks. I know the Stormworks video aren't resonating harmoniously on the channel, but basically they're here to stay. I hope you like them. Whilst we're talking about Stormworks, the second one we did, oh, it was fun. Dominating the server, like always, we sink a ship, get a whole lot of booty, go about our duty, find the ship again, sink them again, they have no booty, we take their Frenchman. We adopted a French guy, and it was so cute because we didn't have a clue what he was saying. It was later translated that he was being like, I really like playing with you guys, let's be friends. And we're like, yes, of course. And then we shoot him. So what else did we do? Well, after Sea of Thieves, Roblox, we did Rails Unlimited. It's a train simulator. I wanted to do something different on Roblox because we only ever do ship games. And so I tried this out. It seemed promising. It was a neat little train simulator. Had limitations, certainly did. But for a free-to-play train game, it was very satisfying. After that, Table Manners. We did an old demo of this work in progress concept piece called Check Please. And they finally made it into a full-on game called Table Manners. Had some disappointing factors. I was slapping the lady about and she wasn't reacting half as much as I wanted her to. We had fun trying to feed her what she wanted. Her name was Tractor. I forgot to mention that. We pulled a girl called Tractor. It's not the type of game I'm going to be playing again. It was definitely a one-hit wonder. I hope you enjoyed it but if you're expecting more, sadly, you're not getting any more. But after that, February 14th, Valentine's Day. So what did I do for Valentine's Day? I went to ancient Egypt. The Tomb of Nefertari and 
not Nefertiti that I kept saying, because I'm a dum-dum. I love history, and it had been a long time since we had done a historical VR experience, and a long time since we've done VR in general. So it was super fun to be getting back into it, although I did immediately remember why I stopped filming in VR, because my play space is way too small, and it causes so much hassle to film it. Amazing experience. Free to play, I think it was. Exploring the whole tomb, photo realistically captured and represented in VR. People who did that, Touche, I tip my bonnet to you. Closing in toward the back end of the month, we did the Mortuary Assistant. This is a proof of concept kind of alpha demo. The game's not even in full production yet. The people behind it, they're working on another game that's currently during Kickstarter. No one seems to care about that, but everyone's caring about this. Would truly love to see this become a full game. What they have so far is working, like the movement style interaction, stuff like that, it feels Good. Expand it and give us a compelling story. Do not be another horror game that has no story. After that, we did another horror game. It's one we previously did. It's called Under. It's a sinking ocean liner horror game set after World War One. Previously, there was not much happening in the demo. This time, it was an actual finished level from the full game. The developers sent it to me like, please play this again. So I did. It was more interesting. It actually featured sinking sets. That was something new. Monsters, however, nothing to write home about, I suppose. I don't want to kind of judge the game too hard. We're going to pin pop, that for now and we'll come back to under once it's no longer under construction. <laughs> Returning to Happier Affair, we did Speaking Simulator, where a robot disguised as a human tried to take over the world, talking our way to the top. The concept was funny. I was laughing for the first 10 minutes. It lost all of its charm very quickly. Definitely a one-hit wonder. It's not the game I'm ever going to complete or play again, which is disappointing because it had a lot going for it. It was good. Where When it was good, it was good. But the overall flavor of it and the overall progression, I didn't feel encouraged or invigorated to continue further. You know what? I mean? So yeah, that's a shame. Closing in on the end, would you rather? Episode 6, I believe this was. Another barrage of weird questions poking my inner thoughts and opinions, and then exposing them on the internet so you can all judge me in horrible ways, you horrible people! Yeah, love the game. That's never going away either. It's very much kind of like an emergency video. If I'm up against a crunch or a deadline, it's like, would you rather do it? But there was a good reason, because the next episode and the next video on my list was Were We Here Together? We did this is a live stream, me and Axel, and we did the entire game in a single play session. Took over six and a half hours. Really fun game. It's a multiplayer puzzle game where you, each person has their own part of the puzzle and you have to work together to overcome a singular puzzle. We had so much fun in the live stream that I decided to download the VOD and actually cut it into a video. Down to two episodes, there'll be one more still to come, which is the ending. But the crunch is real, like six and a half hours raw recording time. The two episodes are one one hour, nine minutes long. So, mega crunch. And then that brings us to the end of month vlog. Congratulations, you survived another month here on planet Earth. Give yourself a Pepsi Max. Ha! So now it's time for the real talk. Bring it in. How did the month go? I'm still feeling absolutely horrible inside. I'm a horrible human being. So we did ultimately miss five videos this month. The seven day upload momentarily came back. Uh, how long do we keep that up for? Two weeks. <laughs> we had two weeks of seven days and then it slipped back to five days. I fully intended to film videos on the days that I didn't upload on. And the reason I didn't get things uploaded was either because production of something was taken longer than expected or that I was just destroyed on the inside. I truly feel like I have something wrong with me, but please know I am trying at my best to get back to seven days. It boggles my mind how for five years, I pumped out seven videos a week, never missing a single upload. Why am I struggling so hard to resume that? Now, there is a thing to say that I'm very much addicted to Sea of Thieves. The other side of that is like, I'm getting tired. Like, it's, it's not recording, it's the editing side of things. I'll open up the editing software and I just... <laughs> My energy just flatlines, and it feels like such a grind to get through that edit. And it has been pointed out, like, well, you've been doing it for five years. Like, everyone burns out eventually. Like, this isn't creation burnout, it's just editing burnout. I don't know, but I'm really not enjoying editing right now. Really not. And plus, I really want to stream a lot more. Like, I really, really, really want to. I was laying in bed last night, and I got really depressed about it, because there's so much Sea of Thieves I want to play on stream. <laughs> there's so much I want to do. And I'm ultimately not able to because I'm working on the YouTube videos. So one hand is forbidding the other. But we will overcome this. 
These are just momentary setbacks. We will overcome them because we always do. There's things that don't go according to plan, things that are not quite as good as I would like them to be, but that's fine. Tomorrow is an opportunity to fix it. Don't worry about it. We're going to be just fine. Channel's growing nicely still. Everyone seems more or less happy. <laughs> Are you happy? It is scary how fast the year is going as well. End of February, we're two months through the year, already 10 months remaining to go. Next month, I have a good feeling that it's going to go better than February did. I hope so, at least. Definitely the uh, the blues of the beginning of the year are starting to wear off. And we should see some more interesting games begin releasing over the next couple of months as well. But anyway, I'm going to leave that right there. So thank you very much for being part of this channel, being part of this family, and for watching to the very end if you got to the end give us the code word in the comments tabernacle i don't know <laughs> big thank you to my patrons as always i'm gonna start shouting the patrons out at the end of these vlogs because they're amazing they're heroes especially at the beginning of the year they really keep the channel afloat during the dark times anyway thoughts and opinions down below if you want to support the channel patreon pick up a t-shirt cd17 online.co.uk for those members it's amazing and follow me on twitter to be updated of all of the live streams and all of the wonderful craziness that happens in my life Life. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Time for the obligatory outro.